The next chapter, chapter 10, tangent to a circle. A tangent to a circle is a straight line in the plane of the circle which touches the circle at only one point. The point is called the point of contact. So we can see a circle touching a point here. This line is called a tangent. So this point is this point is called point of contact. Okay. So if you draw a line here and here everywhere, but the but the the, the, point, the line will touch only in one point. So that is called tangents. And if the line is touching in two points, that is called secant. Okay. So secant means a straight line that cuts the circle at two distinct points is called a secant. And we have the theorem here. Tangent is perpendicular to the radius. We are drawing the tangents here, 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 anywhere. Okay. Because in a circle there's lots of points, so in any points the tangent can come. And only one tangent. We can draw only one tangent in a circle. Okay. In one point. A tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. This is a radius. If you draw a line here, this is radius, and if you draw this is tangent and this will be perpendicular. And this is a perpendicular. Okay, so of that way we know tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. Now exercise 10.1 see the first question. How many tangents can a circle have? A circle can have infinite number of tangents. Already I said a circle can have can have infinite number of tangents because a circle have infinite number of points on it. And at every point a tangent can be drawn. Okay, so that means the answer is infinite. Infinite infinite number of tangents can draw in a circle and question number two fill in the flanks you just see a tangent to a circle intersect at tangent to a circle intersect at only one point only one point and a line intersect a circle in two point is called a line intersect the circle in two point is called secant and in circle third question a circle can have how many parallel tangents there is two only two parallel tangents at, at the most and that last question the common point of tangent to circle and the circle and circle and the circle is called common to the point is here is this is point of convex and question number three a tangent pq tangent pq and at the point p of a circle at the point p of a circle radius five centimeter meets a line through the center o at the point q and so that OQ is 12 cm is given. And we are going to find the length of PQ. So PQ we are going to find out. So already we know tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So I'm writing here OP is OP 5 cm that is radius and OQ is OQ is 12 cm is given. Okay. And now we know tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Tangent is perpendicular to the radius that means this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees surely we know this is a hypotenuse so we use here in triangle therefore in triangle p o q angle angle p is a right angle so we can use the by pythagoras theorem theorem we can say OQ square equal to this is a hypotenuse so OQ square equal to OP square plus PQ square and OQ is given in the question is 12 OQ square OP square PQ square and OQ is given here 12 square and OP is 5 square and PQ we are going to find out so 144 and 5 square is 25 plus PQ square plus pq square now you bring it here 144 minus 25 equal to pq square therefore pq equal to if you subtract you get root 119 centimeter so that's answer so pq equal to root 119 centimeter